Hi, this is Kanna Babu. This is part 2 of MVC project. In the last session we have discussed about how to design the page by using master pages. Here we have designed the home page, about us page, contact us page, sitemap page and login page. Right. So here today I want to introduce some concepts called data annotations. Generally within this login page, if you want to design the page, uh, something like here you can see I have designed the login page uh, enter username enter password and one uh, button now I want to perform the data annotations so data annotations are generally used to implement validations in MVC for the model class so generally in our ASP.NET we have worked with the different types of validations like required field validator range validator compare validator custom validator regular expression validator validation summary and here in MVC we can perform validations by using what? Data annotations. So here different types of attributes that are available are required, string length, regular expression, range as well as compare. So initially I want to create one table under uh, my database. The name of my database is college DB. Under college DB I create one table called login with two columns username and password. And uh, now I want to apply annotations for this particular login form. So first of all I want to check whether the login user is valid or invalid. For that I will try to right click on models. I want to add a class. The name of the class I want to give as login class. Login.cs. Click on add button. And here I will try to, here uh, in my table I have two columns are there. Generally, in model class, this uh, table name will become as class name and the column names will become as properties. So, I will declare two properties. Public string, the name of the property I will give as username and here I will declare one more property. Public string, the name of the property I will give as password. Is it clear? And now, I want to decorate these properties with some attributes because I want to perform some validations. So here the first attribute I want to use is uh, required. But in order to work with the data annotations, you have to declare the namespace using system dot component model dot data annotations namespace. Where, when you declare the, so now initially I want to um, here I want to work with username must not be empty. For that I want to apply I want to decorate with required attribute required. And here I want to display the error message. Error message I want to display saying that username must not be empty. If username is empty, it has to display what? This error message. And here I want to give one more uh, attribute, something like display name. Name is equals to, I will give some name here, something like username. And similarly, I want to apply one more attribute uh, for password required. And here I want to display something like error message equals to password must not be empty is it clear so what is the use of required this required annotation is generally used to check the emptiness of the control it will not allow the user to send the request to the server if the control is empty is it clear so initially i am introducing only this annotation in the next videos we will discuss about some other annotations like range uh, st uh, string length these all the things right now, apart from this, within this login class, I want to declare one method, something like this, public. The return type of the method I want to give as bool. The name of the method I will try to give as check user or check whether the login user is valid or not. Bracket open, bracket close. Here I want to pass two parameters, string username, comma string password. Is it clear? Now initially I want to create one stored procedure in my database. So here I want to create a procedure. Create procedure, procedure name, proc underscore check login. And here I want to pass the parameters at the rate username. Data type I want to mention as varchar of 20, comma, at the rate password. Data type I want to mention varchar of 20. And here I will mention as begin block, end block. And within this, I want to write the procedure. Select count of star from table name. My table name is login, where username is equals to at the rate username and password is equals to at the rate password. Press F5. If the login user is valid, then it will return true. Else it will return what? 
false. If you want, you can check. Try to execute the procedure. Username is anil at the red gmail dot com. Password I will give anil. Is it clear? Anil K is my password. Press F5. So he is a valid user. So here initially I want to go to my web dot config file and I want to declare the connection string globally. So here I already declared connection string. So add name is equal to connectstr. Connection string is equal to user ID, password, database name, as well as data space source. My database name is college db. And here I want to uh, write the code. So in order to work with uh, uh, SQL Server database, adv.net, I will declare the namespace using system.data, using system.data.sql client, and here using system.configuration. And here I want to create the connection. So how to create the connection? SQL connection con is equals to new SQL connection of, here I want to mention configuration manager dot connection strings of constr dot to string method. Then I want to open the connection, con dot open off. Then I want to pass the query, pass the procedure. SQL command cmd is equals to new SQL command of procedure name, comma con. So what is my procedure name? PROC underscore check login. I'll try to pass the procedure, comma con, connection object. Mention that we are working with stored procedure. cmd dot command type is equals to command type dot stored procedure. And I want to pass the parameters cmd dot parameters dot add with value of at the rate parameter name is at the rate username comma the value I will give as username. The value is nothing but here the method parameter. And here I want to pass one more parameter for password. The parameter name I will give as at the rate password. And uh, the value is password. And I want to execute the procedure cmd dot execute scalar the written type of execute scalar is object so i want to convert object to bool so bool b is equals to here i will try to use convert dot to boolean of cmd dot execute scalar if the login user is valid user it will return one else it will return zero i hope you understood so build build the solution now here i will try to go to the home controller and in home controller i declared one action method that is login method. If the login user, uh, just whenever the user clicks on the login button, automatically HTTP get attribute will get invoked. So here actually, in order to handle the request from the action method, some VC provides some uh, predefined methods are there. Actually, HTTP protocol is generally is called as communication protocol, which is used to create the communication via network. This HTTP protocol have some set of predefined methods like get method, post method, put method, delete method. So get method is responsible to get the incoming request. Post method is generally used to submit the form data. We will discuss more about these two attributes in future classes. So here I will try to decorate. So initially I want to take my login form. So here you can uh, see this login form. I already designed this one. If you want again I will do for you. Try to delete it. So right click on login, here you can see add view, select the name is login, In the template I will try to select as create and here I want to select the model class, my model class name is login, click on add button, ok button, now my login form is ready, is it clear, so here I will try to decorate this one with, I will declare one more action method, HTTP post attribute and I will declare the same I will declare the same method, login. So for this method I will pass the parameter as login class. So here I will write login L and within this I will write some code. If model state dot is valid then I want to call the method. So this method is available, what is the name of the method? Check user. That method is available under login class. So I will call this method by using object name. My object name is L, so I can call by using L dot check user of where I have to pass the username. So how to pass the username? L dot username comma L dot what password. Is it clear? Now if the login user is valid user, then I want to redirect to home page. So in order, in general in ASP.NET we will try to redirect from one page to another page. 
by using response or redirect or server dot transfer. In MVC, you can redirect by using uh, there is one predefined method called redirect to action. I want to mention the controller name. Controller name is home. The action method name is home. Else, I want to uh, display an error message. So response dot what write off. Here I will try to display invalid user. Invalid user, and I want to return view. Is it clear? I want to return to the same place. Else, I want to return to the return view. So, what is the use of this model state that is valid property? Is valid property will return true if the form is validated properly. If the username is empty, it will return false. So, it will enter into else part and it will display the validation error messages. Let us see here. I'll keep the breakpoint. So, here whenever this user clicks on login, then HTTP get attribute will get the incoming request and it will return the login form, it will display the design. Now, I will not enter the username and not enter the password, click on create. Then HTTP post method will get invoked and here model dot is valid. Is valid will return what? False. Because the required field attribute is returning this message and it will enter into what? Else what? And it will display the validation error messages which was automatically generated by scaffolding for a sub file. So, it will display the error message saying that username must not be empty, password must not be empty. So, in my database, I have a valid user is there, anil at the rate gmail.com, password is anil k. So, I will try to log in with anil at the rate gmail.com, password I will give as anil k. Just click on what? Create. Now, here you can see, now model state that is valid is returning what? True. Because the text box are not empty. Is it clear? Now it will check the username and what? Password. It is calling this method. Check user method. Create the connection. Open the connection. Pass the procedure. Mention that we are working with stored procedure. Pass the username and para, uh, password for the parameters and check whether the login user is valid or not. So it will return 1. True. If the login user is valid. Now here if the condition is true. Redirect to next form. And it will display the home page. Now, for example, if I try to click on login again, and here if I give some uh, invalid user, something like Anil, and password also I'll give as Anil. Anil is not valid user. Just click on create. Now, here is valid will return true. Because required field validator will, dis will return false if the user is not entering username. As the user has entered username and password, it will return true. So, is valid will return true. If is valid is written true, the condition is true. So, it will enter, you go to the database model and check whether the login user is valid or invalid. As my login user is invalid, it will display the error message saying that invalid user. I hope you understood. For more videos and for more updates, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and Facebook group. In the next video, I will discuss about how to uh, perform data annotations for registration form. Thank you. Have a nice day.